Okay, I think we might be live. Someone let me know if we're live. <laughs> I don't know if everything's turned on or not. We are going to do some Scorched Earth. I've been kind of excited to play Scorched Earth ever since it came out. Like, a few days ago, I wanted to play it the day it came out. I've managed to resist this long. I can resist no longer. We're going to play some Scorched Earth. Hello, Rennie. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Can, is everything working? I've been playing around with settings of stuff all day today. So I just want to make sure everything's like up and running before I click start and all that sort of stuff. Oh, excuse me. So we've got all the same rules as we're playing on the island. The only thing I think I've changed is... Where is it? I've turned the mating interval down from 0.1 to 0.03. If that's too fast, we can turn it back. But it was at point one, it was making me wait four hours for an RG to breed. And uh, that's a long ass time. I am live and people can hear me. Okay, so I've done a couple of things on OBS. One of them is I have this here. So if I press this button, uh, you should stop being able to hear me. Should we test it really quickly? So I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. Hello, everyone. And you should not be able to hear anything. While that picture is up, while that back shortly thing is up, you should not be able to hear anything I say. That's that's so that I can <laughs> go and have a quick break. If we do some longer streams, I can go get a, a drink and what, what sort of thing. So hopefully that worked. Um, if you could still hear me while that picture was up, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> and clearly I've set something up wrong. But the most important thing we have for today is this. If I press this button, we should get... It worked, fantastic. If I press this button, we should get a death counter. And we can turn the death counter up, like so. So we can say we've died six times, but obviously we have not died six times yet. Let's go back to zero. So everything worked. I am really, really happy. Can people on YouTube tell me if they can see the Twitch chat or vice versa? Because that's... Yeah, yeah, that, that's... Rini's just done it for me. Thank you. Yeah, I've set up so much stuff. <laughs> I'm so happy. Right, let's play. Everything worked until it crashes, until the game just crashes my computer. That's <laughs> that doesn't happen. Yeah, so we can, yeah, yeah. Jorgens just said we can see the Twitch chat and Ender over on Twitch should be able to see all the YouTube chat as well. So we're going for Yao Guai. We'll keep everything pretty much identical. Uh, oh, we can make ourselves like, oh my God, we can make ourselves muscular. That's a bit wonky, that, isn't it? Let's, let's maybe stick with the slightly less terrifying. Voices. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I don't care that much about how my character looks because I look at it so, so infrequently that it doesn't really matter to me. I have blue eyes, so let's give it blue eyes. I have quite light blue eyes. Let's do that. That looks like my eyes. Uh, that's basically my hair as well. <laughs> there we go. It looks identical to me, including the body shape. This this is this is it. This is my face revealed. This is Yao. <laughs> let's go. Let's create. So... The reason I was so excited about playing Scorched Earth is I think it's the story map that I remember the least. I know, I, I remember basically nothing about Scorched Earth because I played it so long ago, only played it once, and it was such a short map compared to the rest. So I just don't actually remember anything. So looking at this here, I could not tell you where is where anything is. Now, I let me see. I think there's an obelisk and a bit of water here, okay? I think there's an obelisk up here. Wyvern Trench might be here. Desert over here. Desert down here. Little bit of water here, maybe, and another obelisk here. That's that's kind of what I've got in my head. I could be wrong. I really could be wrong, but we'll see. We'll spawn here. Midlands 4, easy. 
the recommended spawn place, and hopefully we won't have to change our death counter too this quickly. This desert wasteland was a turning point for Helena and her allies. We'll watch the intro. It was here that her fellow explorer Rockwell began his spiral into darkness. If only Helena could have seen the threat that was so close to her, where Rockwell's experiments would lead. There's danger lurking beneath these sands, Survivor. Seek out like Spark's that. Guardian <laughs> and find your way to where I'm looking Fair. for you. You know what I mean. I mean uh, Desert Worm. I mean Arrakis. I mean Sandworm Territory. So after oh. that island, where did you go next? Oh, we better we're somewhere exciting. What is this? Before we keep going, I was thinking maybe you want to let your dad know where you ran off to. I don't want to think about him at all. I want to hear more stories. What is this? Uncle Bob. Uh, okay, okay. How about a story? Hey, Emil, how you doing? Spurs, six shoes, and all that. Yeah, that sounds wild. Darling, you don't know the half of it, but whatever the danger, Bob still managed to show the wild and woolly wastelands who is boss. Whoa, now we're talking. Right, so this little in this Place little extra video and all that dang is from the Bob's Tall Tales. Way up your um, nose. Point is, I was gonna have to get lean and mean if I was fixing to tame anything in that forsaken desert. Carl Urban doing an American. It's not just an American, it's Carl Urban as a cowboy. It's so strange. Okay, we're in. We are in. Watch it just immediately crash. Performance seems okay. I was a bit concerned, but. Right. Let's get up our map. I don't know why it says player on my screen and on the map. I, d I don't think that's accurate, but I think Green Orb. There we go. Green Orb is a safe place. Green Orb is where we built our base the very, very first time we ever played this. Now, I remember way back in the dawn of time when we first played this. Mm. Oh, the jug bugs look so good. I remember dying a lot, like I mean a lot, and one of the main reasons I died so much was my insistence on sprinting every flipping where. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Jorgen. I think, honestly, they've overdone it with just plant life on the island as well. I, I think that's one of the reasons the performance is so god-awful. I think they've uh, gone a bit wild with plant life for the island, and then obviously for the desert, that makes even less sense. I don't think we can open that drop. Right, let's get us a... Oh, hello. I mean, we can just craft all of this straight away. Just unlock all of this straight away. This, uh, these cosmetics, just so that they're done. Frontier structures. Ah, oh, it's a skin, Jorgen. So Jorgen and I were testing out the some of the structural stuff in my private world the other day and we couldn't figure it out but it's a skin that you apply to other buildings that makes sense okay so can i level up in stamina and why can't i make why can't i make cloth clothes Oh, it's level three for cloth clothes. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's keep moving though. I'm so used to just being immediately able to do it. Couldn't do stuff that I enjoyed for a long time, had to study. Yeah, that makes sense. Good on you for taking the time out of doing fun stuff and studying though. You made the right choice. The vegetation amount is fine. It looks a bit too green for a it it does look a bit too green for a desert. Yeah, the, the vegetation should have been like a bit yellower, maybe. Yeah, I get where you're coming from there, really. Like, keep the, keep the same amount of plants, but make them a bit more like these ones here. A bit more sort of brackish. Right. Nico Jaboa. Did I miss a Jaboa? Oh, does Nico just want me to find a Jaboa? 
I'll find a Jabroa for Nico. I know he likes them. <laughs> Building skins seem OP for PvP. Is it tech or thatch? Mmm. To be honest, though, like, so the way Bob's Tall Tales work is you can't, you, you either have it on the server or you don't. I think. So it's not like I could join a PvP server, build my tech base, and then put um, stuff on it. So like everyone has it on the server or no one has it. So that's not really a thing, in my opinion. That's, that's not really a problem. Right, so we've got a bit of metal here. Now I did see... How do I... How do I, like, open my fucking map so that I can do stuff with it? Why can't I put pins on my map? I don't understand why I can't put pins on my map. Oh, uh, I hate the map system in this. It's so much more complicated than it was, and I get confused. But we got some metal here. Let's remember that, at least. Right. I remember there being raptors in this sort of area. Why does it look even more green than it did on the last map? Like, on... Um, Evolved. Raptors. That's a pack of four raptors. I can hear a Jaboa weathering coming. Ugh, fucking marvellous. There's a pack of raptors just there. Not much I can do against four raptors right now, is there? There's another level up. I'm kind of looking forward to how the weather looks when it arrives, even though it's almost certainly going to kill me. So this is where we built our base the very, very first time we played Scorched Earth, which was the second map I ever played on Ark, and I don't think we want to build here this time, especially not with another pack of raptors. I see six raptors- oh god, bugs! I'm not having my first death be to ants, I refuse. Shit. Right, we're going to have a problem if we can't get down towards water. We are already dehydrated. And there's more raptors. I'm going to... God, I don't know what to do here. Oh, double tap it. Thank you. Okay, we, we just, like, have to get down to the water. Watch there be a Capro in it. That's so many raptors. Less over on this side, though. More up there as well. That is so many more raptors than I remember being on this map. Right, we've had some water. Can we level up? We can. We can't, I'm not used to not being able to level movement speed as, like, my main thing. Let's get the cloth stuff unlocked. Let's get a hatchet, spear unlocked. Let's get ourselves some basic clothing on. Not that it'll do much, but... If we can get some basic clothing, if we can get ourselves a spear, if we can maybe find a weak... Creature to kill. Oh, shit. If that thing leads the raptors over here. Oh, God, that's so many raptors. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, no. Okay, we're dressed. Uh, let's start getting resources. There are raptors just over there. For now, though, we might be okay here in this little spot swim with the raptors. I'm, I'm gonna take a pass on that if that's okay. Alright, can I... Can I get rid of Fold of You? Thank you. There we go. Alright, we're just gonna put another one into Stamina, just in case we do need to make a sprint for it. Um, where's the pick? Oh, we've got the pick. So we've got pick and hatchet now. Ooh! If the Morellotrops can kill a raptor for us, if the Morellotrops can win this fight, we are in luck. Let's... 
Right, let's gather the resources we will need for a hatchet, just in case those Morella traps win, and then we can gather some hide from the raptors. I think they've won. I think three Morella traps should beat a couple of raptors, surely. They're so much bigger. They're so much bigger. Please win. Need more thatch. Okay, right, let's get ourselves a hatchet. Spear, we need more wood. Oh no, they're, they're losing, they're losing badly. They're losing and they're bringing raptors to me. Shit. Uh, this is less than ideal. If we can get a spear, maybe. <laughs> spear. And creep away. Move back slowly. Right. Can we make one more spear? I'd rather have two spears if possible. Shit, they're coming, they're coming. He's coming right at me. Oh, no, no, no. My goal is to not die. I've got a death counter, so my goal is to not die. Oh, God! So much faster than I am! No! No! Okay. Okay, I... I am... Green Orb, last time I played this, Green Orb was like the safest place. And it is just not. It is just not okay to be there in Green Orb this time. Right. Green Orb has about 20 raptors just scattered around it right now. So I think we maybe avoid green up for a little bit. Oh shit! It's off no Well that was an ignominy <laughs> second death. <laughs> I see water though. I see water on the map. I hear something. I hear something. Something is angry with me. Okay, there's a raptor right there. He's going the other way. Um, down here is a river. Potentially water? Potentially dried up. Potentially Caprasuchus. Jaboa! Little Jaboa. They've got levels now. Yeah, the Jaboa have got levels now. Why? What an odd change. Why? There's water. Oh, sweet, beautiful green water infested with Capros. How much do you want to bet? How much do you want to bet I immediately die to a Caprasuchus? <laughs> Rini went to get water and missed two deaths. Yep. Yes, you did. Right. I think we maybe try and hide out here for a little bit if we can. This seems moderately safe, like there's water here. Let's get some clothes on again. Uh, obviously, we make sure we have a hat on. I I really like the murky green water as well. You should not be able to see if there's a Capra waiting for you. Yeah, no, I, I'm a big fan of that. I don't want to know if there's a Capra waiting for me in the water. That's the whole point. There we go. We are officially a cowboy. <laughs> that looks so fucking cool. <laughs> right, I want to cross the water and get to this batch of trees here. God, I can't see anything under the water. Oh, that's kind of spooky, actually. That's really kind of freaky. Right, let's see if we can get the basic resources together to make ourselves our tools again. Do they have babies? I don't... I haven't seen a Jaboa baby. 
big Arthur Morgan vibes. I, I should have uh, named my character that. <laughs> this is as close as we're getting to me playing Red Dead again, so enjoy it while you, while you can. <laughs> Okay, right. Let's get tools made. Should have enough for a pick. So we get the pick, then get the hatchet, then get the spear, and hopefully... We can live for a little bit this time. What's our main goal? What, what, what's our first goal, I wonder? I think it's a raptor, surely, because they're so quick. They're so much faster than we are. Especially now we can't level speed. They're just... An efficient method of transport now. So I think our first goal is if we can put a bed down, we put a bed down. But that's going to require hide, so that's going to be a pain. To tame a raptor, we're going to need bowler. I think we're just going to die a lot. <laughs> we're just going to die a lot. It's going to be one of those days. Like I can kill this fella here, but I get nothing for it. I'll just take some oil, but like why? Can have a little drink from this guy. Okay, we never even got to equip our spear. That's that's how well we did last time. We got a spear, we made it, and we never even got to put it on our hot bar. Okay, we have a spear now. I feel ready to take on the world. Just turning off volumetric. Well, I don't know how to turn that off, actually. If you can tell me how to turn it on and off, I'll test it. But I don't know how to turn that off, so. I can't really test it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if we can unlock storage boxes. Yep. And I'm going to double tap this little place here. And we're going to put down a waypoint. And this little waypoint here is going to be where we maybe make a storage box and start trying to get some resources collected up. All right, let's get a storage box made. Need a bit more wood. That's fine. That's fine. Just once we've got a foothold, like I've found that these the arc games and survival games in general, the second you've got a foothold, the second you can put down roots and start like collecting resources, that's when you that's when you sort of become a bit safer. So if we can start collecting resources, I think that'll put us in a good spot. Right. Next goal is probably some hide. If we can find something that gives us hide and is easy to kill. So we've got a doe head over there. That's not really what I would call easy to kill. There's a parasaur down there, but I'm scared of the water. A jaboa would be great. If we could murder a jaboa. <laughs> let's, let's scout up the river just a little bit, okay? Into this cloud of death here, whatever this is. I'm wondering if this parasaur is cornered enough that we could take it. There's clearly nothing angry in the water, otherwise it would have attacked the parasaur. So we should be safe to dip into the water and kill it, surely. This is my this is my thinking, alright, this is where I'm at. What level parasaur are we looking at here? We're looking at a... One, two, five. Actually, that's probably better off not killing that. Probably better off trying to kill that. Probably better off trying to tame that later. Right, okay. Let me let me test this volumetric fog thing. So, Volumetric fog zero, like this. That doesn't do anything for me. Unless it needs the R door. I'll I'll play with that later. It's not. I heard something. What is that? Is that a? That's a listio. That's probably perfect. This is perfect. What level is it? Doesn't want to tell me. Oh, there we go. Uh, ten. Oh, perfection. And my fucking spear immediately broke. There we go. That is probably the best thing we could have found to get hide. Without a doubt. That was the best thing we could have got to find could have found to get hide. I'm so happy with that. Right, if we can get a bedroll put down or a actual proper bed. 
Hmm, or do we go for a bowler? No, because we've got nothing to actually knock stuff out with. I don't think the club would actually be able to knock out a raptor. So there's no point trying that. We need to get narcotics, but then for narcotics we need to get level. We're going to have to try a bowler. We're going to have to try a club on a bowler. On a raptor, maybe. Or that parasaur. There are! Oh, no, there are explorer notes on this map. Up there, maybe, is an explorer note. You see the structure? There's an explorer note up there. If we can get to the explorer note, that might actually be what we need. Level 7 for the bed. Right, we're going to try and get up to there, up there for the explorer note. Boomerang. I completely forgot about the boomerang actually being a thing on this map. Yeah, no, you're right about that, too. Okay. Shit, that's a raptor. Is it? Surely that raptor loses this fight. Surely. There's no way a raptor takes on two of these and wins. Unless they just do absolutely no damage. Let's make a spear quickly while we wait for these to fire. Just keep our eye on them. Yeah, they've, they've won. They've beaten it. They've beaten it. We should be able to get in and gather its, gather its hide. Where is its corpse? They can't have consumed it. They don't eat meat. There we go. Oh, and it's got some tools in it for us. Nice. Dirty. Forty hide. Okay. Let's put this in the box, and then let's see if we can get up to that point there. I, I'm worried about our ability to actually get up there. And then we'll check what we need for the boomerang as well. Because I'd forgotten the boomerang existed. Let me actually check that. Uh, boomerang is level 9. Okay. So we're not there yet. I wonder if we could make a water skin, actually. Yeah, okay. We probably do want to make a water skin just because, you know, scorched earth and the entire thing is you constantly dying of dehydration. So... <laughs> Let's see, can we make a water skin? Yeah, let's make one water skin and then let's put everything that we don't need to carry in here. We'll eat these berries and we'll put the water skin on our hot bar. Fill it up, right. How to get up here is the question now. Get onto this little island in the middle, that'd be kind of cool. I should have more fear of being in the water, I think. I don't think I should be this cavalier about being in the water. Not with the amount of Caparus that killed me last time we were on this map. But we haven't seen a single one yet. <laughs> I'm tempting fate by saying we haven't seen a single Capra. It's okay. We're good. We're good. Underwater does look a bit radioactive, doesn't it? It's, it's very fallouty. Right, again, I shouldn't be sprinting. I want to. Instinctively, I want to hold shift down. I sprint everywhere in every game. But I shouldn't. Not in this game, anyway. We need to get up to that tower there. That's where we're going to find... a explorer note. And that explorer note could potentially give us a couple of levels. Alright, we've got another parasaur here. What level are you? Level 50? Keep keep that in mind. Level 50 parasaur is good to kill later on. Super accurate to how most muddy fresh water... It does give me, um... Like, Florida water vibes. I've seen videos in the Everglades. It does give me Everglade vibes, the water. I don't actually know how we get up there. I don't think there's an easy way up there. Uh, getting up there could be a real problem. Might be easier with a tame. I 
I'm just worried at the moment because we're just kind of running around without any sort of direction. I really do want to get that Explorer note, but at the same time, if I can't, then I physically can't. And I think going on a long hike cross-country on Scorched Earth is a great way to get myself killed. Little Jaboa. I heard Jaboa. So I think the way up there is actually over by Greenob and then round or up onto this plateau here and then round. It's a long ass hike and I don't necessarily think it's worth attempting it right now but let's go up and have a quick look at what the sort of lay of the land is. You kill this Listhio, how much XP do you give me? You give me not a lot, not a level. You do not help me level up. That's a bit of a shame. We could try and find that raptor we saw. It was literally just up here. Right, 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 right. right. Can we make bowler yet? No, bowler is level nine as well. <laughs> We're almost at the top. We're almost at the point where we can start cycling around. The Jaboa are making a lot of noise and it is concerning me. I do not know what weather that is. Oh, baby Morella Trops! Baby Morella Trops! Teeny weeny Bobby Morella Trops. Look at it. It's so big. There's a baby Jaboa? Are you sure? I haven't seen I haven't seen it. That's the second time you said baby Jaboa, I think. I just have not seen the baby Jaboa. Right. If we go up and then along. There's the raptor. Shit. Let's move away from the raptor. I hear mm, thunder and lightning storm now. Uh, yes, I will definitely be playing the second Subnautica. Uh, it might be the survival game that we do after... Might be what we do as streams after Hollow Knight, actually. I'm not 100% certain, but I, I do want to play the second Subnautica, because the first one was one of the best survival game experiences I've played. Okay, we're going to be caught in the middle of a very bad storm, I think, but... But, 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 this is potentially a different one that we found here. Give me an Explorer note, please. Yes, Explorer note. Right. I hope they don't start talking. There we go. She's not started talking. Wonderful. Okay, if we can find the other Explorer note, they can kind of compound on each other. Uh, I did not finish Grounded. No, people... It, it was a bit spoiled for me. It was one of those games that someone spoils and I just stopped playing because the the magic has been sort of taken out of it for me. I like playing games blind and I don't like carrying on when people ruin them for me. I see another raptor over there to the left. bit worrying and I don't see the way across I'm starving oh crap uh, okay let's find some berries maybe you saw Ju juvenile Jaboa text I did not see that how did I miss shit okay That's uh, a little trick from Jorgen, actually, that eating the raw meat. That's something he's he's done a few times. I'm not super keen on it. It scares me a little bit, but in this instance, I think we'll do it. Right, let's make a spear. Actual, actual jump. Proper jump scare there. Tumbleweed! I'm going to keep my eye on this fight because I feel like if the raptor loses... No, the raptor's definitely going to lose. The raptor's lost. Nice. 
Yes, there we go. Give me more hide. What level was it? Well, only level 15. You got anything useful in it? It's got some berries that we can eat. Actually, that's really good. Arrows and another spear. That's actually perfect. Net gain in food. Yeah, it, taking the health loss scares me, but I think you're right. Okay, let's eat these berries. So we're not carrying them. And then let's see if we can't get across this valley. Right, so where is the thing that I thought might... There, the thing that I think is a thing is that... The thing that I think is a thing? That went well, didn't it? <laughs> the thing that I believe is a explorer note is right there on the tip of my spear. If we cross over here and then go up, we should be able to go along and get the second explorer note. We've got seven levels from that. I'm going to put a bunch of them into stamina and then one into health. We're now level 12. If we can get that other explorer note, this will put us in a really good starting position. But there's no more water now. We've used our canteen of water up. Unless we can find jug bugs, we are done in terms of fresh water. Don't know what type of... That's an oil bug. There might be a water jug bug down there. If we're lucky. I, f I remember being able to eat cactus for hydration. Am I right about that? Is that something that exists? Please tell me I can repair my hatchet. Yes. Nice. Yeah, you can eat the cactus sap to regen hydration. Perfect. Another baby Morello shrub. So these things are really common. So Scorched is definitely pretty. Like, I and like the, the storm. The storm is kind of stunning, actually. And I think the performance is better than on the island so far. But I have, so in, in settings, I have turned off um, f uh, f foliage and fluid interaction because I was having some crashes, so I just wanted to turn off something that I thought might be causing it. So the performance might not be better than on the island because I haven't checked out the island since turning off that setting. But everything else is on epic. It's just that one thing I've changed since then. Right, I've got a cactus somewhere here. Let's just sprint, get the thing, and then see if we can get back down for water. Right there. Nice. I should explain, shouldn't I? Okay, we're gonna have to listen to her. I mentioned the future, but I should have said futures. Futures, indeed. You see, the universe, the whole of it. It's all math eventually. Everything has a value. That feeds into an equation. She's Australian, isn't she? You, Do Australians say math stars, or maths? The trees you assault for bundles of thatch. Yes, I saw that. Very rude. But she just tell me off for assaulting a tree. The future's made of it too. Or more specifically, probabilities. They twist and branch in all directions. Cactus, I need so a cactus so badly. That most beings can't sort through them. I can turn off the talking, can I? Oh god, please tell me where. Uh, I'm sorry if you like the talking, but it, it makes it very hard to stream when she's just yelling. And she's so loud. Where is... Where do I do this? Audio? Camera? Game? I, I don't know where. Uh, blood visuals. Hmm. Voice channel, menu music, talk. Explorer no audio. On, save, there we go. Beautiful, thank you. Thank I you, thank you, thank you. I can't even see it all, but I can find the most likely I threads. I don't think we get to stop long. her this time though. After all, it's just math. 
I'm now really, really, really desperate to know if Australians say math or maths. Right, we got 10 levels. Let's stick a bunch into health. And then let's stick one into weight. Let's gather a bit more cactus sap so we can get down from this hillock that we're on. Is it me or is the storm like really loud? It might just be my settings. I hope it's not this loud for you guys because for me it's fucking deafening. Um, we're now level 22. Which means we've got access to the spyglass, the bowler, the bow, the arrow. Uh, do we have access to narcotics? We've got access to the pick, the hatchet, the smithy, trank arrows. So we must have access to narcotics, yeah, and the mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle. It's really loud. It is, isn't it? Is there any way I can turn that down? Uh, audio. Is it? Is it sound effects? Let's ch let's change this down. It was that, I think. Is that better, guys? That sounds way, way, way better for me. That's made a huge difference for me. I'm gonna try something, okay? I'm gonna try something. So our little base is down here. I'm gonna try and get back quickly. If I fall onto a goddamn Caprasuchus. Right, I'm sorry that that was so loud. I didn't realize it was under the sound effects options. But that, yeah, that was way too fucking loud. If a setting is weird like that, just tell me. You're not gonna offend me or anything. If something's like bad and it's making it the stream less easy to follow or less enjoyable or whatever, just tell me and I'll try and fix the, fix the settings. Can I get up here without hopping? Can I hop my way up here? I'm, like, meshed into this bit of sand. I i don't think I can... Oh, I'm up! Hey, but uh Drop to OP. Okay. We saw one earlier, but it was, like, Raptor City, so we didn't go near it. But, yeah, I'll, I'll remember that, and so we'll see if we can grab one. Speaking about grabbing stuff, I think it's time to see if we can't get a parasaur. That 120 parasaur down the beach, that's probably our goal, our first target. Because if we can get that, we can then maybe get a bit of uh, narco berries and whatnot harvested. I'm genuinely freaked out by how empty the water seems to be. Like, does anyone else remember Extinction? Uh, sorry, not extinction. Survival evolved, having much less, much fewer raptors and much more capros. <laughs> That's what I remember being the really big problem in Survival Evolved Scorched Earth. It was the capros, not the raptors. Right, is it a doehead here? If this doehead is decent, it might be something we want as well. No, that's not a doehead. It's just a oil bug. There is a doehead further down, though, I'm sure. I'm sure we've seen a doehead. Yeah, there's a doehead up there. Terror birds! I also remember terror birds being fucking everywhere on this map, too. It's raptors, terror birds, and apros. That's what I remember being the absolute terrors of this map. Okay, so. Got a little bit of meat. We can start spoiling this meat if we can. That would be really good. Let's eat these berries, because we don't really need them. We've only got a few narco berries, which is a bit... Bleh. More terror birds, yeah. Okay, right. Let's see. Let's maybe make a foundate... Mm. Mortar and pestle? What do we need for a mortar and pestle? So Stone and hide. If we can get stone and hide. Yeah, let, right. Let's grab these hatchets and let's just use them till they break. Gather up some stone. Gather up some... We've got the hide. Make a bow. Make, like, a few trank arrows. Just a couple. To help us go get that, um... 
Parasaur, and then he'll help us get some more berries. Once we've got that, we can maybe get a Raptor. Or a Pteranodon. I'm sure Pteran... Wait. Are there Pteranodon on this map? Or is it just the butterflies and the... Is it just butterflies, argents, and wyverns? I I've got it in my head that there are no pteranodons on this map. This is also not giving me stone. No, it is. It is. Just not a lot. <laughs> For some reason, I've got it in my head that there's no pteranodons on this map. Is that... There are no PTs on Scotch. <gasps> oh, that's not good. So we're going to need to get an argent then. Uh, that means there's just the moths. Yeah, so it's the butterfly or the moth, yeah. Then there's... Then there's Argents, because I remember there being Argents. I'm sure there are Argents. And Wyverns, yeah. That's going to be a problem. Is this rock broken? This rock is broken but also not broken. Oh, look at it shrink. What an interesting rock destruction animation. Why? Right, okay. If you were remaking Ark, yeah, and you've got Conan Exiles there, you know, Conan Exiles already exists, and it has, like, the smoothest, just sexiest rock destruction animation. Why would you not just do that? <laughs> Why would you not just do that? Because it's just the best. It's such a good rock destruction animation. I don't know why Ark does it like this. The chunks breaking off is so cool in Conan. And then this just does... They get all spidery and then they shrink. And it's just a bit strange. <clears throat> you got a moth that you sacrifice for a T-Rex? <laughs> Moths can get wyvern eggs. Maybe for people who are good at flying, but I am not. When I got wyvern eggs for the first time, I built a massive box. Like a huge box. Out of stone. <laughs> it's my most watched video on TikTok, is that box. <laughs> I don't know why. Right, hide. And mortar and pestle. And then let's put the rest of this away. Sap, don't really care about for right now. More and pestle. Can you go on the ground or are you gonna. Uh, it really wants to be on a foundation, doesn't it? I think. Mmm. Oh shit, yeah. But is right. We can't level up speed anymore. Oh, not being able to level up speed is going to make getting a wyvern egg super, super difficult compared to what it used to be. Make a foundation. Requires a little bit of wood. Foundation. There we go. Just one foundation will do. Oh, we can make a bed now as well. Beds require hide, thatch, fat. Yeah, all the all the basic stuff. So we can make a bed, and then we can put that on the foundation, and put the mortar and pestle, and the bed on the foundation and then we have base camp alpha this is the first place we are calling our home on scorched earth pretty pretty happy to have even got this set up actually let's just disable snapping and just do that right we're currently starving to death which is acceptable eat some of this. This has got a minute left to spoil. I would like to get it all spoiled if possible. We split all of that and then let's see if we can't find a couple more narcotic berries just so we can get that initial little bit of narcotics up and running. Can we get berries from this or is it just... feels like it's just fiber. Ah, there's the boomerang as well, isn't there? Let's see. Boomer. That's boop. I just typed boop. <laughs> Look, I'm dyslexic, okay? <laughs> Moths can outfly them. Oh, 
Ah. Wait, wild wild creatures have got um stamina now, haven't they? Right. Interesting. Hand pink waving elbow cough. I I don't think whatever you were intending worked right there, mate. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, let's get this little bit of meat as well right let's see what we need to make a bowler i have a feeling it's more stone yeah it's just stone fiber hide and thatch stone fiber hide thatch you can make two bowler Okay, oh, I don't fully remember how this thing works, to be honest. It's something about it bounces back, isn't it? But I also remember it being quite good at killing things by accident. Hand pink waving elbow cut. Is this something that's like, can you see what that is on, on YouTube and I just can't see it because I'm not looking at YouTube? Is that what's going on here? Is that actually showing up as an emoji for you? Because for me, it's not. <laughs> for me, it just says hand dash pink dash waving colon colon elbow cough colon. <laughs> mm, I remember killing stuff by accident with these. Uh... With the boomerangs. It's an emoji for you guys. Okay, that's good to know. Right, so percentage chance to bake like a spear. Shit, that's not good. I don't know how much topper this is doing. If any. I think it's going to kill it. No, it's knocked it out. Nice. So that just worked. That was really cool. If it's a percentage chance to break, we need a couple more of them. But little Jaboa. Hi, little fella. I thought you were like a like a passive tame. I thought I just gave you a berry. Do I have to like knock? <gasps> Baby Jaboa. Baby Jaboa. If I kill its mother... Can I now have you? Are you now my Jaboa? Yes! I'm gonna call it Tiny. <laughs> I got a Jaboa! In the worst possible way. Let's get rid of the evidence. Oh god, you're right. The Ascendant Kibble joke. That comes from Scorched Earth. From my first ever stream, which was on Scorched Earth. That's so wild. Right, let's go back and let's get uh, berries for our parasol. Tames in progress. There we go. Small. It is small. He's so little. We're going to leave it back at base. And then we're going to go get our Parasaur over there. Honestly, I know we've died twice. But I feel like this is an okay start. I don't feel too bad about this start. We've got ourselves up to level 22. You know, we've been going for an hour now. We've got ourselves to level 22. We've got potentially a decent level Parasol. We've got a little baby Jaboa, which is obviously the most important part of success in this game. Wait, shit. Is that Parasol? Is that the Parasol we were taming? Is it awake? No, it's not awake. <laughs> It's almost awake, though. Shit, we need to keep moving. Come on, baby. I must take you home. 
Don't forget to feed the baby. Shit! Amy, you're right. I would have I would have let the baby just starve to death, honestly. <laughs> By accident. <laughs> Alright, I need a lot of berries then, don't I? This is it's a good thing we're getting a parasaur soon. Start collecting some berries. Apparently I'm starving. This is not important right now. I don't have time to starve. Yeah, they don't only spawn at level 1 anymore. I, I'm not entirely sure why they've changed that. I think I know why they used to spawn at level 1, and that was to make it so that no matter what sort of... No matter where you were in the progression of the game, you could always get yourself a Draboa and have that shoulder pet to tell you what was going to happen with the weather. So I liked that. I don't know why they've got rid of that or where our baby Draboa has gone. Where is baby? Come on, this way. Child, if you not if you don't hurry up, I'm gonna leave you here. Don't have long to get to this parasaur. Come on, this way. I want to take you to somewhere where you will be moderately safe, but if you can't do the basics of following me to the safe place. Oh no, it died. <laughs> It just immediately starved to death. <laughs> okay, so we lost our Jaboa. <laughs> that is the first death of the, the series. Our little Jaboa just perishing over there. I'll find you a new Draboa, Rini. <laughs> I'll find a new Draboa. It's fine. Right. Uh, Mejos. And then we want to eat some meat. He's going to need more than the Mejos, I think. He's going to need... Let's just put everything in him. He won't tame as efficiently if he doesn't have just Mejos, but, like, it's fine. If we find a high level one, we'll call that carnage. Or if we find another baby. Oh, I get your point, because we murdered its parents. Yeah, if we find another baby, we'll call that one carnage. Alright, I think we're going to lose, a, like, a level or maybe two doing it this taming method. Maybe maybe more, but this is not, like, a long-term investment here. This uh, parasaur, this guy is literally just here to eat and everything. Can he eat more? He can eat these, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. This guy is literally just here to get us some more berries so we can get ourselves a raptor. I think raptor is, is the goal for today. If we can get ourselves a decent raptor. Hello. We can get ourselves a decent raptor. That would be really nice. I suppose I could try with a boomerang and a bowler for the raptor. Probably not the end of the world to try that. His taming is still going up. Yeah, that's good. Radar. Radar's a good name for a parasaur. Yeah, I like that. Because they've got the little the little ability to find stuff, haven't they? I really hope I can get out of the river soon, though. Running up and down this river is starting to irritate me. If we can get a saddle for him, that's probably going to be quicker than trying to get him to follow us down the river, because they're not efficient at following us through the water. Let's go back to our little hovel and grab a saddle. Um, then... I don't know where any crystal is. It doesn't look very scorched anymore. This is a bit sort of damp and dreary now. This is looking less and less like a scorched earth and more and more just like a bit of a soggy earth. Okay, uh... Parasaur Saddle will more than likely be that. Let's get it unlocked. Ah, it requires wood as well, of course. I always forget the wood. Parasaur Saddle, there we go. So we ha will now have our first rideable tame. Good start. If we can go get a raptor. 
If we can find crystal, we can get ourselves a spyglass and then find a good raptor. That would be really nice. I'd also like a magnifying glass because I can't see torpor with the... There's no amazing spyglass anymore. So I don't get to see torpor anymore. Morellotrops time. I, I'm not a fan of Morellotrops. I don't really see the point of them. Like, they're big, and I know they have water built in, but I can just put water in my little... My little thing. How did that fill up? I'm not sure how that filled up. But okay. What level did he come out, actually? Sorry. He came out level 185. Do you know what? I'll live with it. I can cope with it. 185 is fine. We can get ourselves some nice berries with a 185. We need to get more stone, though. Because we need... Um... Need more bowler. There we go. Look at the difference in berry gathering. Oh, it's such a nice jump. That first tame, that first berry gatherer... It's always such a nice feeling. Look at him go. You love it. I wonder how long it would take to tame, like, a Rex with a, a boomerang. <laughs> if you did a boomerang-only playthrough of Scorched Earth and you wanted to tame a Rex. I don't think Gigas are on this map, thankfully, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. I don't think we'll be taming any Rexes. I, I don't. I hate Rexes with like a burning passion. So that's not something. Even I remember the first time I played Scorched, I saw a few good Rexes, and I I was that was after I'd done the island, obviously. So I'd already gone through the uh, the Tet Cave that first time, and I'd already decided that Rexes were the worst thing ever, and I hated them. So. Just avoided Rexes. Oh, hello. Forty-four narcotics. Nice. You misclicked to death. Oh, I did. It's only two. How did? What did I press? I must have pressed P. Why would I have pressed P? I don't know why I would have pressed P. Number one for gathering cactus sap. Oh, all right. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Didn't realize Morella Trumps were so useful. Uh, there is 60 narcotics being made. All right. How about this? How about we gather a tiny bit more stone? Repair all our tools. And then we climb up that hill. And we see if we can't find that raptor that we saw earlier. Oh, you're right. I typed Parasaur, didn't I? Right, okay, guys, you're going to have to help me with this because P is my increase death button. <laughs> Maybe I need to change that hotkey. So every time I type, every time I, like, look for Parasaur or Pteranodon or Fiomia, I'm going to be, like, increasing my deaths. You, you can't let me. It doesn't count. Why can't I repair thatch? Okay. Repair. Repair. Boomerang. Bowler. Yes! Let's craft five bowler. What are we missing for another boomerang? Sand? What are we missing sand? All right. I think that's enough. I think three boomerangs, like six bowler, two spear, a spear, and tools. I think that's a good like little starting point to go running up the hill and seeing if we see if we can't find the. Uh... Actually, is that more? No, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say is that more armor than the one I'm wearing, but it really doesn't matter, does it? It's not gonna actually make a difference. Is it? It is more armor. Do you know what? <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm I'm taking the one that's got two extra armor on it. There we go. We got 2.9 extra armor. And our heart back. Cool. Let's go find that raptor. Watch it be a 150 now. Oh, watch it just die. Watch the uh, the boomerangs just kill it. 
Some really obscure button. All of my buttons do something, I think. <laughs> Trying to find a button that doesn't do stuff is so annoying. I, I might have to find an obscure button, yeah. But Ark uses a lot of the more obscure buttons for whistles, so... It becomes quite difficult. Right, let's see. It was around here, wasn't it? We'll have been happily killing stuff. It was by itself, which is why I'm so interested in it, because it was a raptor that was more or less alone. I don't think it had any friends with it. Which I can relate to, so that's why I want, I want to be friends with it. I'll be its one and only friend. There's a parasaur down there, but that's not exciting. Another parasaur. Unless you're like 150, I don't care about you. Are you 150? You're 20 and I'm starving. Come here. Ah, shit. Fair enough. He escaped. <laughs> I think we've lost this raptor, to be honest. I think he's just gone. Jaboa! <gasps> Baby Jaboa! Dinner! Is his mom going to attack me? <laughs> That's so wild. Jaboas will attack. Shit, we should have left him alive in case we found the raptor. We've got prime meat on us now. Oh. If we find some prime meat, if we find, if we find a raptor now, we're good. I'm sorry, Rini. Right control doesn't see much use. No, you're right. Actually, right control is not doing anything. I will change that in a second. Just so that we don't have the same issue. That's a gorgeous parasol. Same, it's, shame it's terrible. I think we've just lost this raptor. I think it's just gone. Like, it wasn't all the way up here. I'm just coming up here so I can sort of look down and see if we can see it. Could have got itself killed. There's an Anki over there, though. There's a Doet down there. That Parasaur is running away from something. That Parasaur there. Anki there. Not against the Anki, actually. Let's go investigate what level the Anki is, because if the Anki is really good, we could come back with Trank Arrows and grab the Anki. Is my health... My health is just going down because of the heat right now, isn't it? That's... Oh, shit. That's really annoying. What level is this guy? Level 10. Not worth it. We need to get back. Yeah, I'm dying from the heat. Yep. I don't think... The cactus sap actually helps with that. Let's see, though. No. But it does hydrate me a little bit, so we can maybe get down to the water before we perish. I also don't think there are otters on Scorched, for obvious reasons. Because, like, why would there be otters in a desert? Alright, okay. I'm coming. No! As long I think if I get down to the water, I'm fine. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, I don't want this to be death three. It's such a bad death. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're down. We're at the water. Okay, we need to cook some food. Most diners that have babies except Chopsies. What? <laughs> Chopsies are still cowards. Oh, poor Chopsies. 
Developers just hate Chopsy. They just don't want me to have Chopsy fun. All right, I'm gonna eat like 100 berries, I think. Get my food full. So we need desert armor if we can get it, don't we, our gilly? Desert's not until 28. I can't really go traveling until we got the desert armor. We're just gonna sort of perish if we try. Metal, we're not, I haven't seen any metal nodes around this area. We could try and go up the river and see what we see. We need to heal up a bit first. Even Chopsies can attack now. <gasps> That's cool. I wonder if that means... Has it changed whether or not they can attack when they're being ridden then? Or can they still not attack while being ridden? Uh, sorry, while being tamed. Will they still not, like, follow orders to attack? It'd be funny if they'll fight for their children, but not for you. <laughs> Priority hierarchy. Okay, I think that's enough to make another box. I'm going to just stick all this raw prime meat in here. Bit of a waste, unfortunately, but not the end of the world. Let's get a storage box made. And then we can put all the berries in this other storage box. And then we can go on a little exploration with our guy right so i'm gonna probably keep all the medjos just because they're useful for taming keep the wood and the thatch and then we'll keep a little one stack for us to eat so we'll do that they just run away when tamed oh no okay let's drop everything else Level him up in health a little bit, and... Oh, it's foggy! That's wonderfully shit. Right, we know at that last death spot, we know that there's a raptor there. I think it was just one as well. So we could, like, plod over to that in that sort of direction and see if we can't find a raptor. Because look at how slow this parasol moves. Think about how much easier it would be to explore if we had a raptor. He's just plodding along. Not good. It's disappointing. I want to stick by the water for as much as possible, but again, terrified of capros, but also haven't seen any yet for some reason. Yeah, Chopsies are definitely house pets, yeah. The Paleo Arc mod lets you... Uh, lets you uh, tame aggressive ones, but then they're still not very good, unfortunately. I wanted to do a challenge run on Fjorda with them, but I did a, a little bit of experimentation, and it turns out that even max stats, they, they can't beat the alpha bosses. <laughs> right, I remember living under these big spikes the first time we played, for a, for a little while, actually. So the pool right down here, the pool under these spikes, that definitely does have... Um, that definitely does have Caprosuchus in it, so we should be careful of that. But my, we've kind of gone past my death spot, actually. I mean, we don't have to go to where I died, it's just that I do remember there being just the one raptor there. It's interesting that dinos don't need to drink. I know they need to eat, but can, what what would you think if... Right, hear, hear me out. Let's say when ASA came out, they did, updated it and dinos also needed to drink. If you were in your base, you could just build a water trough and they drink automatically. But if you were out and about, they'd need to drink and they'd suffer the same sort of effects as you do. In that the more you sprint with them, the more often they need to drink. If they're in hotter climates, they need to drink more. Certain dinos need to drink more than others. I don't know, I think that could have been a really interesting way to make Scorched Earth feel better. Why is it raining so much? 
I don't remember it raining like this last time I played. I mean, the rain looks really nice, and the ground looks all wet and slick and stuff. It's great. But it, it doesn't... I'm not getting desert vibes. I'm getting... I don't know. Not desert, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting not desert vibes. <laughs> Please leave me alone, small bug. <laughs> right, so we've got a another Anki here that's potentially decent. We'll have a look at that. Little Anki is not any good. Right, we're 100 meters away from where a Raptor should be. Unless it's gone and got itself killed on a Moss Chops. Rocky Mountain is the vibe. Yeah! Do you know what? Yeah, I'm getting... The vibe I'm getting is that there there is a small amount of plant life because the ground is shit and arid, not because we're in a desert. I'm getting that sort of vibe. I see where you're coming from there, Jorgen, with the, the biome variety. And yeah, may, maybe it will grow on me as we start to like spread our wings and explore more of the map. That's a fair point. It might grow on me as we as we see more of it. But like right now, I can only really judge it based on what I've seen. And it doesn't feel desert-y to me. It's very, very green and it's very, very wet. <laughs> and that's that's not what I feel when I think about Scorched, or when in, in before this, that's not what I would have felt when I thought about Scorched, if that makes sense. Little Doet, level 35, not worth it. I mean, we could head over to Green Orb. We know that there are a shite ton of Raptors over there, don't we? Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we take our new Parasaur and we slowly make our way over to Green Orb and we see if we can't find some crystal and pick off a lone, loose Raptor when we get in that sort of general vicinity. Unless, of course, this Anki turns out to be like a level 150. Which it did not. I feel like we've been here before. Yeah, all right. Let's head towards Green Up then. I know we just spent a bit of time stomping around in circles. I apologize for that. I'm still trying to figure out where we can go without getting immediately killed and losing our team. Why do we want a Raptor? Because they're fast. It's like the fastest thing I could get right now. I could go and explore on it. The Jaboa are broken. They'll do calls for things that never happen. Oh, dear. Yeah, I want something I can scout around with. I want something I can do zoomies on. And raptors are like the most zoomy thing you can get. At this stage. I could try and find a butterfly. A moth. But I, I haven't even seen one of those. And I don't think I can make the saddle for it yet. No. Level 36. Whereas. Raptor. And I just made, gave myself another death. Did it again. Raptor. We've got that. There are horses, yes, but I have tried to tame those before without carrots, and it is worse than having my teeth pulled out by a clown. Lazy five dough, it's not bad. Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting about the critical hit damage. To be fair, if... <laughs> Right, so what I'm thinking about with the raptor is that it wouldn't get into any fights. It's not about... Like, I get where you... Co oh, another thing. I get where you're coming from about it takes more damage, but it shouldn't take any damage if I do it right, because I don't want to get into a fight with it. It's just for doing the zoomies. A horse is not a bad idea, but they are fucking atrocious to tame unless you've got rock carrots. A terror bird might work, though. A terror bird might work. Uh, 
Level 33, yeah. But still, we're not too far away from that. Terra Bird might be quite nice, actually. I'd love a flipping... I'd love a Spyglass so much right now. I'm actually kind of leaning more towards the Terra Bird. Because of how, like, up and down Scorched Earth is as well. Because of all the different gradients on Scorched, I think a Terra... Ultimately, I think the best option is a cat. It, for things that aren't flyers, the best option is definitely a cat. There are three Terra Birds over there. I don't think that's something I can take on. No, I can't. Fuck. Right. Can you shoot off the back of a Morellotrops? That's a good question. Shoot off the back of a Morellotrops. I might be willing to look at one, but I just... Nah, I want something quick. Morellotrops aren't quick. If you're exploring, you're going to be killing stuff. Yeah, I, I... Yeah, you're not wrong. Baby Thylas. I do want a Thyla. I just... There's no way I could tame a Thyla right now. Kangaroo versus cat. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Cat can climb. Cat's just cooler. No. I don't like the kangaroo. No, cat. Cat cat all the way. Cat all the flipping way. Oh, shit. That was a sudden change in weather. Level 10 Anki. Level 20 Anki. <laughs> Level 10 baby Anki. What's this one? Level 55 Anki? Nope. If we find a really high level Morella Traps, we'll take it. One the Parasol, but I'm going to head towards Green Orb just to see what we can get. I love how... Look how the rocks still look wet. Even though the rain stopped. That's really cool. If they like dry over time or something, that's super, super cool. Or if that's just how they look, then I'm an idiot. But it looks like everything's still slick. Level 50 Morellotrops. I'm just sort of ex having a look around and seeing what we've got, okay? Level 40. Level 100 Morellotrops is still a bit in there. It's not terrible. It just takes so many resources to tame. There's a raptor. There's a raptor by itself. That's what we want. This is exactly what we want. If it's shit, we kill it. It's level 5. It dies. No question about it, it dies. Relatrops allows Rider weaponry. That actually might change things. Morella traps are allowing Rider weaponry might change things. Fuck, there's a sandstorm. Wonderful. So sandstorm will reduce our stamina, won't it? And does it stop me being able to move properly? Really? That's not fun. That's just not fun. Like, I'm just sort of stranded here, right? Because I'm nowhere near my base. I don't have a flyer yet. So I just sit here and wait for the sandstorm to go past? Or I abandon my team because I, I move a little bit faster without it. Also dehydrated. That's fine. That, that one's my fault. But the rest is annoying as fuck. I'm not going to lie. Sandstorms make me invisible to dinos. Do they? Do they? I mean, if, that, if that's the case, we could go up to those terror birds and have a look at what level they are.
Oh my god, this is so ponderous. Like, it looks great and it sounds awesome and stuff. It's just a bloody. Okay, fuck this. We're leaving our parasol behind. Nope, we're not even much quicker by ourselves. I'm just gonna die here. Um... Come on, parasol. You can do it. I believe in you. How close are we to the water? So, so close. <laughs> so close. I can see it. I can see the water. Please. Tiny baby parasol. Tumbleweed. We might be okay here. If we can get to the water, if this sandstorm leaves quickly, that'll be fine. I'm gonna experiment with what Rini just said about whether or not stuff can see us in the sandstorm. I'm gonna take a drink and then I'm just gonna go and stroll over to the um, stroll over to those terror birds and see what happens. Yeah, we're dehydrated. It's 30 degrees C and we're tired. Fair enough. I really hope it's, if this doesn't last long, then that's fine. But if this goes on for like a while, that's kind of frustrating. Not going to lie. Right. There's a terror bird right over there. Terror bird there. Let's <laughs> see if this. <laughs> if Rinny's getting. This might be death three. And if it is, I'm gonna blame Rinny. Let's get the bowler out. If it sees us, we're gonna have to kill it. No question about it. The sandstorm is going, I think. Okay, the sandstorm is gone, of course. The second I need the sandstorm, it leaves. Level 40. Um, let's try and kill it. So it doesn't take headshot damage. That thing's going to be loose in a second. We need our parasol. Hey, Nico, how are you doing? Okay, I think we can win the fight now. Wait, is it Topper running? Nah, we've got it. Oh, it's got a baby with it! Did we take a baby terror bird? I don't even know where the baby terror bird has gone. There's the baby terror bird. Did we take the baby terror bird? <laughs> we got a baby terror bird. Okay, Jorgen's found numbers, so he's really happy with life. He he loves his numbers. Right, I need to put food in this baby. You, my child, can eat your mother. Where's it going? Jabo is just yelling in my ear. Okay, I'm going to keep feeding it its mother. Dude, if you do not shut up, I will feed you to the baby, baby terror bird. Understand this. Alright, no, 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 you asked for it, buddy. You asked for it. 
I'm kind of liking the boomerang, actually. It does a decent amount of damage. Right, I have no idea if this will keep the baby terror bird alive, this amount of meat. Almost certainly not. And it's going to take so long to grow up that I, I'm not 100% sure I care. Don't hurt the Chipotle. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm sorry. We, I don't, they, I don't like them. They're not useful. They're noisy. They're like bad otters. Right, there's another terror bird right here. Let's see if this one's any good. The pego is what concerns me, if I'm honest with you. I don't like the pego. Get rid of the Pego. If one of these terror birds is decent, then what I'm thinking... Right, what I'm thinking is if what... Oh, shit! Little bastard stole my... Fifty. He's stuck. Okay, he's stuck. What's this one? Seventy-five. Do you know what? I have a plan here, okay? I have a plan. If this if this can actually knock out the bird, I have a bit of a plan. Because the birds don't seem to take crit damage like the raptors do, so that's good. Can you all not? Fuck off! The Pegos! Seriously, man. Right. Oh, that actually worked. The Pego ate the bird. And healed. So that actually kind of worked. Sorry, not the Pego. The, the Terror Bird ate the Pego and kind of healed. So that's gone quite nicely. Shit, the other one's out there. We can kill this one at least. We can kill this one, my plan might still work. I can't get it back. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Come here, you. Right, please go on. It's not letting me take my boomerang out. So my game is not letting me take out the boomerang for some reason. Why? Why is... Fuck! I don't understand why this is happening. But it's probably cost me my one and only tame, and I don't know what's going on. This is gonna be such a close fight. We just leave. Fuck's sake. It got stuck in the ground. Yeah, my boomerangs have just gone. Right, I'm not using the boomerang anymore. It's it's inconsistent and I don't like how it works. We've just lost our one and only team because of the fucking boomerang. I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not taking responsibility for that. Refuse to. It's it, Now it's fucking in my hand. Nah, fuck that. Boomerangs are... Boomerangs can fuck off. 
<laughs> yep, we bullied it and we ran. So. So it looks like the Morella Trops are fast. It looks like they're fast enough. Like the Morella Trops is a big increase in speed compared to the Parasaur, at least, is what we're looking at from what Jorgens just said about the numbers. It's not quite as speedy as a Raptor, but I think they've got much... They're much tankier. Hey, Rasputin. I think they're much tankier. So that's potentially where we go here. I'm so sad about my goddamn Parasaur. The only tame we now have is a fucking baby terror bird somewhere out in the wild. I am vexed by this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm vexed. This has vexed me. Alright, we've got a ton of narcotics, so if you can make some arrows. We can make a bow. And some arrows. And potentially get a Morella Trops. I don't know how much torpor these things have, though. Um, I've got no way of finding... What was that that just flew past me? I think a butterfly. I've got no way of finding crystal. I'm so annoyed at the loss of my goddamn parasaur. It was such a good parasaur, too. It did so well. Yeah, I remember that, that they'll run when they're by themselves and then fight back if there's others near them. Yeah, I, re I remember that function. That was It was kind of a cool little unique thing about them. Um, I suppose, realistically, I should be putting some points into fortitude, shouldn't I? Like... And I really do need to get some silk so I can unlock the desert stuff. Because we're at that stage now. We need fiber, silk, and silk for that. So we can find some silk, but again, crystal. We need crystal, and we just don't have any crystal. Right, what have we got? We've got our bow. These can boomerangs. Seriously, I, I'm not happy about them. Alright, let's make a few more arrows. That's not really a lot. And there was a level 100 Morella Trops. That might be the one that we just go for. If we can get maybe like 50 arrows, that should probably be enough. Would have been much easier if we still had our Parasaur. <clears throat> I mean... Ah! How the fuck have you followed me? How the fuck has this thing followed me? There we go, problem solved, but what the heck? Right, what is, the hell is the aggro range on these things? Because that thing has followed me from, like, almost green orb. Right, we need to make a bowler and we need to do it quickly. I'm going to maybe take him down and then we'll use him to take some other stuff down because he's fast. He's faster than we are anyway. Right, if we can make a bowler really, really quickly. Do we have the resources for one? Two bowler. Some arrows. <laughs> Jaboa's curse. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry for hurting the Jaboa. I'm not. Okay. But I'm, like, that's wild, that, isn't it? The, the, like, the aggro range that that thing must have gone through to follow me is kind of wild. Alright, I think we can get it now. Come at me, bird. Let's fucking finish this. Let us finish what we started, bird.
Please fall unconscious. The bird is not falling unconscious. The bird is not falling unconscious. Where's it gone? Where's it flipping gone? The top are built up? Surely not. No, that's that's my baby. No? Where the hell did it go? It's there! It's there! It's there! It's there! It's crossing the water! After it! Come here, you little shit. No chicken escapes me! Please fall unconscious. I've thrown, like, everything I've got into you. There we go! There we go. Okay. There we go. Right. We've got ourselves a... Terror Bird in progress. Now then. Shh, now we have to fucking tame it quickly. We got some narcotics left. Is there a baby anywhere? I know there was that baby Jaboa, but sorry, that baby um Morella Trops. But I have a feeling it killed the there's our baby Terra Bird. But the chances of us finding that, I need to up my death counter as well, I think. No, I didn't die, did I? No, I didn't die. I escaped. 400 meters that way. We're not going to be able to get any berries. We're going to have to use regular narcotics. Okay. Um... Parasaur here. That might work. Babies would have been better, but... I don't think I can reach the baby terror bird in time. That's that's my thing, right? I think if, if I feed all of this... If I feed all of these narcotics to this guy... I don't think... I can get to the baby and back in time. There are babies over there. This one's got babies. This one's got babies. Okay. Let's see. This guy over here has got babies, I think. Yes. If I hit one of the babies, will he aggro it? There's a Jaboa. It's just a regular Jaboa, though, so we're not going to kill it yet. I need, it's baby flesh I need. <laughs> what a horrible thing to say. Please be really, really weak. Please be, like, level 5. Level 110! Okay, I'm going to have to tame you. Um, fuck. Jaboa, you die. Sorry, buddy. The Jaboa knows and has escaped. This is going less than ideally. I need something to kill. Pyrosaur, maybe. Like, I know the boomerang isn't great, but it's pretty good at knocking stuff down. Level 40, that might work. 
I don't think there are any babies around here, otherwise that would be better. Level 10. I know I can kite an Anki. Yeah, no, there's just no nothing has children. You know what? I think we can reach the, uh... I think we can reach the baby. I think we can do it. I think we can reach the baby. If this guy's top is still going up, I think we can reach the baby and get back in time. I think we're fine for that. What level is this guy? Level 10. Alright, let's kill him. Oh shit, did I hit him? Sorry! Oh god, I did! Oh no, he's got friends! There's my next death, 100%. Yep, there we go. Okay, so... We shouldn't have hit him. But let's be really quick. If we're really... Wait, so my plan right now, okay is we can get... Oh, fuck me, that moves really quick. We can get to this baby terror bird and back before this terror bird wakes up. That's my plan. Shit, we can't kill it. It doesn't matter, we can't kill it. I've just realized we can't kill it. It doesn't matter that we can get back to it. It can't die because we don't have the item to kill it and we're playing on PvE mode. Alright, I need to just stop scrambling and just kill something. It's fine. Alright, we'll grab our stuff back. Hey, dead me. Can I harvest meat from dead me? I can! That kind of helps. That helps a lot. <laughs> the curse of the Jabroa. I know, but if I could find a baby Jabroa, I would murder it happily right now. I would I would be all over murdering a baby Jabroa right now. What level is this part? Jabroa? Uh, level 85. That's a really nice... Thing, actually and this Jaboa is unfortunately part of the meat collection sorry little dude right I don't know if this is enough meat for the terror bird but we'll just have to see I hear more of them. I hear more of them. I hear them. If it has a child... It's fine. Do you know what? Why am I... Why do I care so much? It's not a problem. This guy doesn't need to be perfectly tamed. His job is just to carry me while I tame better shit. So it's fine, isn't it? Like, it, it doesn't matter. What we need is narcotics, and I think we've wasted them all. That's my... Uh, yeah, I think we've got them wasted all the... We've just made an absolute mess of this. I'm not going to lie. Just a complete hash of this. So we want the Morella Trops. There's a 110 over there. It's got two babies. So if we, like, tame it, it's if its babies are, you know, the same as it, we could try and get them as well. At least then they'd be imprinted. That's actually not a bad idea. That would give us an imprinted Morella Trops. I need more narcotic berries. Please give me more narco berries. I have no berry harvester anymore. This is awful. <laughs> 
Oh, I want my berry harvester back. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the Terabird, and we're going to take it back to base. Then we're going to go get a Parasaur, and we're going to get a bunch of narcotics. We're going to try and level up so that we can ride the Terra Bird, and then we're going to try and get that 110 Morella Trops. That's the plan right now. He has meat on him. Yeah, he's fine. Alright, if we do that, and then let's see if we can go make a Bola. There is a Parasaur just down there. We can get both of them taming at the same time. The sheer number of Jaboa that are just yelling is kind of infuriating, actually. I know people like them, but they're just streaming constantly. Okay, I'm really, really, really concerned that we're not going to be able to tame this fucking terror bird here. Sixty percent. Yeah, I'm. I'm really worried. We fucked this up. We can get a couple more narcotics in it. Maybe we're fine. Don't think we've got the resources for another parasol saddle either. This is just a huge mess. What is it, 70%? Maybe another Narco Berry or two might actually help here. I always forget that I can just hold E down. I don't have to actually keep pressing E. I can just hold it while I'm looking at the bushes. Although I feel like pressing makes it go quicker. Maybe that's just because I'm actually inputting something, so it makes me feel like I'm doing something. No. Just give me narcotics. Oh, I've made such a fucking mess of this team. Yeah, the Parasaur death bag would still have the saddle, but I was hoping to get it. I was hoping that I could get the Parasaur tamed to help with this guy, but that's not happening. Because we're just getting every berry other than narcotics. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, he's, we just need to kill this thing. It's that simple, unfortunately. Just wasted all of our resources on this thing that we can't keep. I'm going to put it down before it wakes up. Shit! Oh, it's going to wake up and put me down. Fuck me! <sighs> nah, I'm annoyed, but at myself. Like, I just made a... I messed that up completely and... Just fucked myself really badly here. For no reason. Other than I was being stupid. And it's it's annoyed me immensely. At least we have the terror bird like marked. Oh, and it's now gone and killed something, so of course it's healed. Fucking wondrous. Which means we just need to leave. Um, unless... No, I'm not trying it again. For fuck's sake. I need to kill that thing, and I can't. <laughs> it's coming!
coming at me. Look, we can see on the thing. It's just a homing missile. How does it know? Oh, it stopped. It stopped. Thank God. It stopped. We're safe. All right. We're going to try and find the bag like Rinny said. Yeah, we're going to try and find the bag. Baby has not grown. Baby is like a third grown. But we're going to see if we can get, grab our parasols bag since... Where did we die? We died like around here, didn't we? I'm so used to having that green smoke mod that we've got. That I can't see bags without it. Over here somewhere? I'm not 100% sure where we died. And I don't think there's any way of uh, finding it, like, in my tribe log or anything. It'd be really cool if you could see, like, death locations for Tames. If you could put that into the, into the search thing, that would be such a cool feature. So if I could just pin the location, like I've pinned that terror bird there, if I could pin the location, yeah, track the death, but I don't think I can't because I didn't die. So it's not like a, it's not a me death. I don't think there's any sort of tracking for that. Wait. Ah, yeah, here it is. Your parasol was killed. Yeah. But it was around here somewhere, and I can't find the body. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> Somewhat vexing. The, the terror bird's about to starve to death, and I just don't have the ability to fix that problem. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not. It wants to go on a walk with me. Cool. All right, come on, then. Let's see if I can get you home. It might have despawned, yeah. Imprinting 5%. What? Okay, so I've got my imprinting settings wrong, then. Shoot, somewhere. Is that what you tell... Yeah, I've got my imprinting settings wrong somewhere. For fuck's sake. That's helpful. I haven't done any breeding on the island yet, so <laughs> I guess I haven't got those settings right. I don't mind imprinting just being like a one and done thing, because it's just tedium. And I just don't really care about tedium in survival games. I don't think they add anything to the experience. It doesn't add difficulty or challenge or anything. It just adds tedium. And imprinting something multiple times... Especially when you can just cryopod and uncryopod it to get easy imprints is just tedium. Okay, I'd like to go back to my little base if I can. I'd like to make a bowler. And then I'd like to go and get another parasaur because I need one. I really hope my little house is not the house of a terror bird. So that would be very upsetting. No, I think we're safe here, actually. I think we're good. All right, cool. Baby Jaboa! You know what I'm thinking? All right, what I'm thinking is Baby Jaboa is raw prime meat. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we could do the Paris... The terror bird. But no, I don't care about the terror Fuck the terror bird. The terror bird can fuck off. <sighs> what did what did you say about arrows? You said Eleven narcotics. Well, no, you said arrows somewhere. I'm sure about the morella traps. I can't remember. I don't think I need that many arrows for the morella traps though. 
I'm not murdering the baby Draboa. It's fine. It gets to live. I'm not interested in the terror bird anymore. Oh, the little te this terror bird's figured its way out home. Oh, good boy. Little, good little terror bird. I'm sorry that you're not going to be imprinted properly because I apparently set it up. Fucking shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, because I'm that bright. Um, right. Let's get a bowler. Let's get a saddle. And let's go get a Pteranodon. Just any... I mean, that one will do. Any fucking Pteranodon will do. Pteranodon? Parasaur, sorry. Let's go get a Parasaur. Any Parasaur will do. It is just for berries. There's the Terror Bird. It still exists. Which is a problem. It is an issue that that Terror Bird still exists. I'm not going to lie. But we'll do something about it later. I would prefer a good Parasaur if I can. 140. Were there any more around here? What are you? 75. I don't think the arrows I've got will do an Anki, so... Which is a shame, because an Anki would be better. Ooh! Oh, I want. Oh, gosh. Golly, I want that. Right. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just calm down. Let's just calm down for a second. Let's get the crappy Taran uh, Parasol. Let's get the crappy Parasol. Level 140 um, de uh, Doed. Oh, hello. What are you? Level 10. No, you're even worse. Level 140 Doed and a level 70 Anki are... Honestly, just kind of good. Like, that's fine. That's that's all we really need in terms of... In terms of resource gathering. I, I really don't want to get that shitty parasaur. I want a better one. <laughs> it annoys me because our other one was... Is that a baby raptor up there? I think it is. Level 90. It might not have been a baby raptor. It might have just been a regular Jaboa, actually. <laughs> okay, we're going to bite the bullet. We're going to bite the bullet. The fact that it's low level means it's easy to tame. We're just going to accept that. Just going to accept it. The Terror Bird is still an issue, though. Let's see if this works, because... Oh, nice! Right, that makes me happy. The fact that that works makes me happy. Okay, let's see if we can get back to base and grab some of those uh, Mejos that we've got. Terrorbird is somewhere. The doe there. The Terrorbird's going to be somewhere. Am I now freezing to death? I'm hungry and thirsty. And I can't see shit. Give me a minute. Let me turn the gamma up. That's a bit better. That's potentially a bit too better. There we go. Alright, the guy up there does not need 100 of these. He needs like 20. Okay. Just have to be really careful. So if we can get the um, parasaur and use that to gather the resources. Oh god, it's there! Why did it just come out of nowhere, bite me once, and then leave? 
Why did the terror bird just do a jump scare on me? And then just fuck off into the night? I'm not super keen on what's going on here. Where did it go? It's there. If it fights that doehead, it might lose. He wants to be friends. <laughs> he just ran up to me, pecked me, and then left. I'm so confuddled. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> just hum and then left. Okay, uh, let's gather some stone maybe while we wait so we can make another bowler. I mean, if the terror bird's still floating around, we could just grab it. I do, st I do want it. I still want it. My terror bird. The baby terror bird we've got needs a father. It needs it needs a, a parent in its life. It needs that parental guidance figure. We can't be that for it. Could I have some fiber, please? That's what I actually want. No, that's that's a stick. I'd like fiber. Will you get me some fiber? Can I repair my tool now? No, I need thatch. Cool. You can get me thatch. Yeah, you can get thatch. Good boy. Okay. So there's a baby Listhiosaurus, like, just up here. So what I'm thinking, okay, what I'm thinking is we repair our tools. Right. We gather a little bit of narco berries with this guy. And then we try and get the... <laughs> The terror bird again because I don't like leaving stuff un undone. Like I don't like being beaten. And as it stands right now, that terror bird beat us. And this this cannot be allowed to stand. So what I'm thinking is we make our way back to base. We grab a bowler. Make a few more arrows if we can. And then we hunt the bastard down, and we tame it. It is faster than our Parasaur, so it is better at kiting and helping us tame stuff than the Parasaur. It is, it is something we will use. This is not just, this is not just a vanity thing. This is not just like me going insane. I mean, that's definitely part of it, but it's not all of it. Narco berries, narco berries. Okay. Right, so, 20 more of that. Let's make... Let's repair our bow. Bowler, we want a bowler. Bowler is more important. One, two bowler. And then as many arrows as we can craft. Okay. So, there's a baby Jerboa... Oh, there was a baby Jerboa somewhere. Oh, God, we're going to fall into the same trap. No, we're not falling into the same trap, because if we'd have had the Parasaur last time, we would have been able to tame it with regular raw meat, wouldn't we? Because the only problem with the taming process was that we literally couldn't get enough berries to keep it unconscious, so we're fine. Right. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> Is that the 110 Morellatrops? Let's just keep an eye and check if that's the 110 Morellatrops, because we obviously want that too. There's so much random shit to keep an eye on around here now. Cool! A level! What does that- does that put us at 30? 30, it puts us way above 30. Nice! Puts us at 32, which means one more level and we can actually ride the thing we're about to tame. This is the 110 Morellatrops. Oh god, our parasol followed us. That freaked me out. <laughs> Right, let's take this opportunity to get us berries. Clearly I need to edit my imprint settings though for next time. I'll have to play around with that and see what works, because 5% per time is not 
not something I am going to be doing. That's not happening. Fuck that. Right. You cannot follow me, it's okay. Right, we got the arrows, we got the two bowler. Okay. I hear the Jaboa. There's a Jaboa. It might have a child with it. Hello, Kurma... Kurama? Kurama Gaming. How are you doing, man? Or woman. Or person. Or Eldritch Mass of Doom. You could be one of those, too. Right. Terrorbird is where? I believe that's the Terrorbird coming at me. There it is! Come here, birdie. We have unfinished business, you and I. Come to me, death chicken. Where is the murder chicken? You know, I don't think it wants to be my friend. I need some food first before we do this. Grab some berries to eat, and then we'll figure this out. It's somewhere in the river, and I'm not 100% sure where, and I don't want to go after it with any sort of weakness, including starvation. To check it isn't following us like some fucking demonic... Well, demon, I guess. Demonic thing. Eat all these berries, eat these berries. That's not all food. Now, we're going to have to start cooking some meat soon. At the moment, I'm basically just a barbarian savage, consuming raw flesh. Hmm. I have not yet learned how fire works, but I do have a very dapper hat. Where is it? They've been gone! Is it dead? Like... I just don't understand. It was right here. Halloween fuck- See, the weather- I'm sorry, but the weather on Scorched is just completely breaking the mood for me. It doesn't feel like Scorched. It's been rainy and foggy more than it's been sunny. You know what? I don't know where it's gone. Not gonna lie. There! It's 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 there! Ah, come here, you little shit! We will do this again. Looks like that's stuck in the ground again. Let's keep an eye on him. Not yet. There we go. He can be bullied again. Buddy, you have to leave the water. Y you can't even just stay there. There we go. No, you have to leave the water. Shit. 
This might have gone terribly wrong. So I'm about to freeze to death. Cool. Do you know what? This game just doesn't want me to have this bird. It's unconscious. Death is acceptable. We can die now. <laughs> Five deaths, but this one's okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, we're on a time limit this time. We can actually make this work this time. Okay, right. If I can't find any other babies, I'm really sorry. But you might have to give your life the cause. Right, let's grab all our stuff. Grab everything. Put our clothes back on. This. So there was a baby Jerboa. There was. It exists somewhere around our base. Now there's the adult Jerboa. Don't see where the baby could have physically gotten to. That's the thing, right? Let's just put. make sure this guy's on the map. So we can keep an eye on its topper. Right, it's got a baby. Look, it says it has a baby. Where is your child? Show me the younglings. I know you have one. The little sign gives it away. But where? Yeah. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind me. Fuck, the thing's almost awake already. They wake up so goddamn quick. We might have to just accept that it needs to be fed with like actual meat instead of uh, baby meat. Which isn't the end of the world. It's not like a bad thing necessarily. It's just somewhat vexing. Because the baby meat would have made it a better tame potentially. Oh well. If we have to just give it regular meat, then we have to just give it regular meat. I don't see where this thing's child has gone to. So they're very, very small. There it is! Cool! There we go, problem solved. All I had to do was give away my humanity and soul. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Jerboas. They are really cute and adorable, I agree, but they're also like super tasty, apparently. Could I stop fucking freezing to death? I don't know what to do to stop freezing today. I need to make a fire, like, right now, I think. Quick. What happened? Nothing happened, Rini. You saw nothing. All of the uh, Jaboa are completely fine and okay. No, I'm lacking the stone and whatnot to make the... Make the fire. <laughs> Please, I don't want to die again. I'm actually counting it this time. The 
da -da 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 -da. campfire quickly. It's more stone needed. I'm so dead. I need 16 stone and it gathers so goddamn slowly with this tool. How much stone do I have? 12, I need four more. One, two. I'm just getting sand, I'm getting so much sand. Three, four, there we go, campfire. Twenty six health, twenty five health. How am I still? Oh, there we go. Well, that's awful. <laughs> Just sit here and cook some meat for a second, I guess, guys. Oh, so we've died five times. We've managed to tame two parasaurs, one dead. Uh, two babies, one dead, and an adult terror bird. So at the moment we're doing like a one for one ratio on tames and deaths, which is uh, not ideal. I, I wouldn't say. I don't think that's ideal, but it's could be worse. Could be worse. Let's dump all this, take these, dump this. I think the the boomerang has its uses. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the boomerang has its uses. But I'm still not a huge fan of it. <clears throat> In three degrees C, I should not be freezing to death. I know I've said this before about Ark, but it has a really interesting concept of what causes me to freeze to death like three degrees c is a bit chilly but it's fine i exist in three degrees c quite often in the uk i like i used to play rugby in shorts and a t-shirt in three degrees c it's 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 okay you're, you're all right you're not dying Okay, I think... What happens if we leave the fire now? Do we... We immediately start freezing to death. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, Terrabird. <laughs> Terrabird Saddle is a level 33, but I think it also requires metal, actually, which... What about the Morella Trops? Morella Trops Saddle, easy to get. You can get that. Uh, Anki Saddle, 36. Doet, 34. Uh, the Moth 36. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, so basically we can't get anything useful for a, a few more levels yet. Hmm. We need to get the Terror Bird Saddle if possible, though. Actually, we need to try and... F we saw metal. Right, we saw metal, and that was... When we first spawned in, okay, so if this is death one, we saw metal, like, here-ish. Like, there. That's where we saw metal. We could try and make our way over there, but the chances of us getting there safely are pretty low. There we go. We're not. We're no longer dying. Nice. We grab this. Grab the. Let's take these back. So, here's a thought. Okay, arc players who know more about the game than me. I've got an. I've got a cool concept idea here. Tell me if it's silly or not. Right. The babies are worse than. Um, Taming, taming adults, right? They're just, they're just actively worse because they 
don't get that taming bonus from levels, right? If you knock, When you knock out a level 100 and you tame it, you get a level 149, okay? But you don't do that with babies. So what if you made it so that if you tamed something as a baby, you could ride it without a saddle? What about that as an idea? I kind of like that. I think that because I don't think that would be too unbalanced because you're not going to be able to tame a Rex baby like super early, and you're not going to be able to make it. You're not going to be able to grow it and keep it and look after it and all that that early. It's not going to be that broken, but I think it would be cool as a concept because they they do lack strength. They lack that taming t extra levels you get from taming, but by doing it like that gives them gives them a bit more of a niche. A fucking sandstorm. Fucking wonderful. Just as I wanted to set off. Okay, I guess we're gathering some berries then, I guess. While we wait for this sandstorm to pass, I'm sorry. I wanted to do something a little bit more exciting, but sandstorm has arrived. These aren't even berries I can click. My tames get unbelievably slow in the sandstorm. It's barely even functional to collect the berries with. Yeah, I think the next thing we need is just metal. We need a crossbow. We need metal tools. We need uh, metal for some of the better saddles and things. We just have to go and get some metal now. We have to try and find where metal is. Uh... Or we could just try and take the Morella Trops with the regular bow. And that might be a stronger tame to travel with until we can get metal. That might be what we do, actually, then. But we need to gather meat for that. I mean, we can whistle command our new Terrorbird to kill stuff. That's potentially... All right, that's potentially what we do. So we use the, the whistle command on the Terror Terrorbird to kill things and gather meat to then spoil and get uh, spoiled meat. We gather a bunch of berries with the Parasaur. Then we tame the 110 Morella Trops, make it super cheap saddle, and travel across to where we think metal might be. But, like, this is gathering a decent amount of wood and berries here, so that's kind of nice. But unfortunately, we must wait for the sandstorm to pass to do anything actually useful. No, I like that idea. I, I think that idea is balanced. I, I like the idea about babies being able to be ridden without... Um, without needing to unlock and craft the, the required saddle. I think that would be a really cool concept. Because like I said, it's balanced by babies being just worse than regular tapes anyway. Da, da, da. This is sprinting speed apparently in a sandstorm. We're hungry again. We're always hungry. My character is so hungry all the fucking time. We could take the meat out of the baby terror bird and just let it die. Because... It's not that useful, really, but that feels cruel and overly metagamey. I like trying to keep stuff alive if I can. Like, I, I do want to keep my baby alive. Right, you, follow. Let's go find something you can kill. Look how happy he is. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I finally tamed you, you little shit. He's so much faster than I am because of the sand. Oh, sandstorm's gone! Nice. That didn't last that long, actually. Well, sandstorm is going, I think. Yes, there we go. Right, so what are you good at? I mean, just killing, really, isn't it? That's what we want you for. Melee damage.
Is there something weak down here that we can kill with it? I think the jug bugs just run away. Like, if I whistle back on the jug bug, I think it'll just fly off. Oh, no! He wrecks it. Oh, nice. Okay, that works. I genuinely thought the bug would get away, but nope. He kills it in a couple of hits, so that's nice. Is that about it, though? Uh, can we whistle it from here to attack stuff? Yes. Right, so this this is how we gather a bit of meat. I think if you tame the parent, the babies get the same effectiveness afterwards if you claim. Really? I don't know about that, actually. I've never tried that. So that might be something I need to go test. I could have tested it on those two Jaboa, but unfortunately they uh, I killed the parent first. I don't want to try and fight that Anki. The Anki... I don't know what level the Anki is, but Ankis can be really, really tough, so I'm not going to try with the Anki. Get him to just follow us along in the river. Oh, I want the saddle for him so bad. They're so fast. Not necessarily the best swimmer in the world, but when they get going, they're so goddamn fast. I've just got a bunch of notifications on my phone. It's nothing important. <laughs> it just keeps buzzing at me in the corner of the room. Nice. Ah, but when you kill one, the rest of them go running around. That's what it is. Okay. Right, let's go back to base with him, and let's see if he's got a bunch of meat now. Hopefully he's got at least a bit. Right, we've got... That's... That'll do. That's going to give us quite a bit of spoiled meat when it's ready. If I'm lucky, this baby's going to have some spoiled meat in it. Also, meat that's about to spoil. So if you have one piece of meat that's about to spoil, you can add like the rest of a stack to it and it gets a bit funky. Come with me. I'm going to try and keep you alive, but it's not my priority child uh, so if we add if we withdraw this it fills this stack up and then if we split one off pull this out yeah now they're all right on the edge of spoiling okay Give you like half a stack and put half a stack in here maybe just because we do need to keep ourselves alive 40 spoiled meat potentially do i mean it's more than 40 because we've got all the prime here as well Right, we need to figure out how many arrows it's going to take to take down the Morellotrops. That's the big thing now. That 110 Morellotrops, that can be our test for whether or not Rini's correct about babies getting the taming efficiency from the from the parent. So if we can take that 110 Morellotrops down, that would be really handy. Whether or not we can do that without the... Without the Terror Bird saddle is a thing, though. I suppose the Terabed isn't that tanky, like, for pure tankiness, it's a bit more tanky than the Parasaur, actually, but still. Can we outrun it? Can we outrun it? That's the question. This is all about to spoil. Uh, let's get this out. We need to get more resources for arrows. Oh, this is just... We're at that stage now where there's just like a ton of busy work, but you don't have the good resources or the um, or like the t the resource tames to just do it for you. Like if we had resource tames, this would be so quick. 
Rini says they might be wrong, but we I want to experiment with it. It's a cool concept idea. Like doing it the way that you suggested it might be is is also cool. And I would like that. What I don't like is that babies are just objectively worse than adults. And I, I suppose you could say that that's because they're easier to tame, but they're kind of not if you have to tame or defeat the parent. So if the, if the way of getting um, taming effectiveness on them is to tame the parent rather than kill it, that's kind of cool. I like that. Trying to figure out how many arrows we're going to need. We can make a bow. We can make two if we make two bows and we make like they're not a high level tame are they Marilla traps like they're not a super duper tame or anything so oh there we go we can get the saddle for the terror bird now let's put another one into that let's go <gasps> terror bird saddle doesn't require metal i was wrong and i'm happy about it we do not have enough hide though Yes, we do, because he's got hide on him. Bless his little socks. We have a Terrorbird Saddle. That's put me in a great mood. Okay, so we have a Terrorbird Saddle. We can play the kite game now, because Terrorbirds are so much faster. Right. Cool, 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 cool. Let's put the Terrorbird Saddle on. We can use him to go and do some exploring now. Let's get these knuckleberries out, put them away in here, put a bunch of resources away. We do need more flint, that's that's what we need now for arrows, we need more flint. Here's the thing, is it better to just go get the resource tames? A 150 camel needs 35 full strength trank arrows, okay so yeah we can we can do that easily then. Because we've got, like, 40 or so. And it's a 110. That's nice. Da -da -da -da! I love terror birds. Look at these little flappy wings. Okay, so. This is the Morella Trops that we want. Let's get him tamed. How the hell do we miss a Morellotrops? How much damage is he doing to us? Not like a terrible amount or anything. I'd like to be positioned above him. It's where, with where his weak spot is on the top of his back. I am missing this guy a lot. Okay, he's hitting me for like 20 damage, so that's not a problem. Where are you saying takes reduced damage? Because it seems to do like 19 unless I hit him. I think he's top running. He's not top running. I'm bloody freezing to death again. See if we can get him knocked out before I die. There we go. Yeah, I think Dodo Dex is getting it the wrong way around, because it seems that shooting him on the back in the spine 
does more damage than shooting him in the side in his like in his flank. Which is kind of strange, but that's how it seems to be. Right, we need to get a little bit more health. Let's stick him on the taming tracker so we can just keep an eye on what's going on with him. Uh, tames in progress. I am still freezing to death. How? I am like in the fire. How? Alright, let's make a standing torch. Don't get to pretend to be all deserty. It's not a desert. It's having your cake and eating it. Sorry, I just don't like that it's it's doing both. It's like being all deserty, but then not being deserty at the same time. It's just frustrating me, right? Light fire. There we go. We're not dying of bloody hyperthermia anymore. Nice, cool. That's a wonderful position to be in. Not death is good. Right, Morellotrops are herbivores. Hide armor might help. That just cooks me in the daytime though, doesn't it? I need the desert armor, really. Give it a try and see if I don't cook during the next daytime. Uh, desert armor gives, let's see. Yeah, it's it's not great cold resist. Yeah, but, it, but the hide gives like negative heat resist. So you're gonna have to kind of like yeah, deserts are very cold at night. My my issue with this, with the map, is that it's not being very deserty, but it wants to be deserty in that it wants to freeze me. So I'm being frustrated. Right, let's see if this lets me leave the fire. It does. Okay, that's... No, it doesn't. Even with hide armor on. So with hide armor on, I just cook more during the day, and I still can't leave the fire at night. So... Not... Super helpful, unfortunately. Um, wondering if we can risk running up there for berries in him or not. What are we looking at in terms of health? 73. 80 health? Yeah, let's do it. Let's run up there. It's 5 in the morning, 0 degrees C. It should start warming up fairly quickly, I think. Hopefully. We need to figure out where its children have gone once we've tamed it. Uh, oh, that needs a lot more berries than that. Shit, okay. I love terabirds! Come on, come on, come on, come on, Parasol, come on, Parasol, we need to get a lot more berries than that. Um, we're still freezing to death, but we need more berries! That'll probably do, like 60, 70 of them will do. There we go, yeah, nice. 20% tamed. This thing, hopefully, is what we can go and explore a little bit more on, because it's going to be a bit chunkier than the Terror Bird in terms of hopefully it can carry a bit more if we do find some metal. Uh, I'm not sure how strong they actually are. I don't think... I don't remember if I ever actually tamed one last time I did Scorched or not. Just kind of silly when I think about it. I can drink from them, which is cool. Yeah, being able to drink from them is super cool, actually. 
And that's that's another reason why they're a good one to go exploring on. Let's give ourselves another point in fortitude. Let's keep buffing that fortitude up a little bit. I think Medjo berries are the best taming food for them. I can't see what else they'd like. It's a male, but it has a daughter. So we've got a breeding line. <laughs> oh god. So we've got a breeding line, I guess. Right. Um, let's grab the narco berries out of him. Put them in here. 17 more. Spoiled meat is quite nice. Just keep the production of narco berries up and running. And yeah, we just desperately need metal now. Right, 32 over on him. He's he's going to take forever to tame, unfortunately. The carry weight on this guy is next to nothing. Absolutely nothing. So that's not really very useful. We could try and take him up. Like, we could try and go upwards to get um, crystal. Like, we could try and find where we could get some crystal. Gather a bit of meat first. Cook a bit of meat first. So we've got some supplies and whatnot. And then, yeah, I think we need to go upwards and see if we can find some crystals so we can get some spyglass, the spyglass going. Parasol's just given up, I guess. Does gather really nicely, like hide and meat. I think taming it was the right thing. I know it was frustrating and it kind of eluded us that first time. <laughs> but I think taming it was the right choice. That's a gorgeous parasol. I do think parasols could have one of the best like color patterns of tames dinos in this game. Like that white and black one we saw earlier was just beautiful. Nice, right, that'll probably do. Uh, doubt he needs any more narcotics, but it wouldn't hurt. Things you can only say in Ark or Crusader Kings 3. You'd be surprised how much incest there is in Crusader Kings games. Honestly, there's more than in Ark. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to put a few more narcotic berries in him just in case. Just while we get some cooking going. Eggs powers are nice. That's true. I think all the egg stuff is really pretty, though. Like, they just did really... X X yutis, while I hate them personally just because of how long it took to tame it, are kind of gorgeous, I will admit. Store this wood. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck chuck wood? There we go. I failed miserably at that. Oh, this is starting to drive me a little bit crazy now. We need more storage again. Always need more storage. Okay, so we can put this frontier... Let's make one of these frontier structure skins, actually. How do I use it? So I go into cosmetics... Do I need to make a foundation? I think I might need to make a foundation to do this. All right, let's see. So if we make the foundation. Oh, it snaps onto existing structures. That's so clever. Huh, so it's a thatch foundation. So yeah, so Jorgen was right earlier. You could put this on whatever type of structure you wanted. Tech or thatch. I 
kind of love it because you're forced to build out of Adobe. I think that's probably why they've done it because you're forced to build out of Adobe on this map. So it makes sense to build to give you something that you can like overlay on the Adobe. Adobe, Adobe, however it's pronounced. So I kind of really like that because that means we can build Adobe out of Adobe, but then make it look like something else because Adobe kind of looks like shit. Right, I'm just going to take another batch of narcotics up to this guy and then I think I think we do take the terror bird out on a really little scouting mission to see if we can maybe get up somewhere to grab some crystal or find some metal. Probably better off to find metal before we find crystal because, you know, how the pickaxe works and stuff. Shocked at the performance. I have not been able to record a single episode of ASA yet without it crashing, so I'm genuinely shocked at how we've got through this stream so far. I don't know how long I've been streaming for, but it's like two hours maybe, and I'm shocked at how well it's still going. Do I want to repair my pick before we go just in case we find some? No, because I'm probably not going to carry it. Yeah, I'm not going to bother bringing the metal with me, so it's fine. That's probably enough food if we bring some berries as well. And let's just eat a stack of berries too. Right, let's go. I'm going to put points into stamina, actually, just so we can sprint for a bit longer. Because I don't think this thing's going to be a combat team for very long at all. So I'm going to put some points into stamina, and we're just going to go for it. Oh, there's a weird little rock gap thing that I ran into because I was taking a drink. <laughs> right, I'm going to head towards Green Orb, because we know... Oh, at least we kind of know that somewhere around green orb there are there are some metal nodes is that a metal node there it is all right so we've got at least a little bit of metal here How do I... No. Stop tracking the terror bird. And let's call it metal. And can we... We'll put a little hand and we'll make it... Make it white. Accept. Right, so we can start marking metal when we find it now. We don't have to have these like visible at all times, but if they're there on the map, that's nice. Because I did see like a Reddit post the other day saying that metal is really hard to find on ASA. Uh, Scotched Earth, specifically. Not just ASA in general, I've had no problem on the island, but... Yeah, someone on the Reddit was saying that it's much harder... Heatwave, no! I don't want to get underground. I'm... Shit. Shit. I'm going to have to turn around, aren't I? I think the superheat is going to start killing me soon. I'm going to try and find metal first, though, really quickly. I'll worry when my health actively starts going down. Right. I remember being around here earlier before we died. So maybe we saw metal nodes over here? Our health is actively starting to go down. Hello, Epic. How are you doing? Epic White Tiger. That's a great name. Super heat is when phoenixes spawn. I think I'm not quite ready to tame a phoenix yet, if that's okay. 
Uh, if you were expecting Phoenix Taming Stream 1, I, I'm, I hate to disappoint you. I see at least two metal nodes from this spot here. And a raptor. Let's go boop boop. Let's go metal. Let's go boop. Let's accept. And let's fight off raptors. We good? I think we're good. We're not great. But we're not terrible either. We're acceptable. Right, let's get home. Alright, we found at least some small amounts of metal now. So we can potentially get ourselves some metal nodes up and running. Metal farming up and running. I hope the Morella Trops can carry a decent amount. Because I think that might be one of the safer options for getting around, maybe. I don't think... I don't think traveling on an Anki is a great option, not with how slow they are. We are probably going to perish before we get home, to be honest. Superheat is just kind of an instant death sentence if you're at this stage of the game, really, isn't it? Like, what, what exactly am I supposed to do here? Oh, is it over? I think it's over. The superheat is over. I think either that or we've got... No, no, no. Superheat is still going on, but because we're at the water, we're cool enough. Ah. No, I expect Jaboa. You want me to tame a Jaboa? I will tame the next Jaboa I find, okay? I promise. I will not kill the next one. We will tame one. What level is this fella? 15, that's dreadful. There should be a Jaboa near my house. The one whose child we ate. <laughs> Why is it that in Ark Mobile, Raptors instantly pass? I've never played Ark Mobile, so I could not give you any info about that, I'm afraid. I know that on uh, Aberration, they got a pounce, but I don't know if that was intended or not, because they used to have the pounce everywhere, and then that got taken off them, but it didn't get taken off the Aberrant Raptors, so I have a feeling that was an accident, and the Aberrant Raptors were supposed to lose their pounce. Cool, we got two Terrorbirds. This one is kind of dreadful, but... It's two Terrorbirds, which is nice. Morella Trops is very, very close now. Just kind of stuck by the water due to this heat wave. Uh, what, right, how do we make Adobe again? You make it pretty early on, we need clay. And quite a lot of resources, actually. Clay. Cactus sap and sand. I remember this because I got obsessed with the horse because you could make you could collect sand with the horse and then make clay in its saddle. Ah I remember. That makes a lot of sense. Right, let's unlock all the adobe structures because we're gonna be using that. Basically all we're going to be able to use, I think. Cool. Right, we can maybe try and make a house next next uh, stream. I, I do like the position we're in. We're pretty central, actually, but we could be better off up there, maybe, if we could get water and stuff. Um, wait a second. No, no, no. The pipes, the pipes aren't, haven't been changed much. Have this from last from the uh, ASE. That's that's the electrics. I got confused there because I was thinking about the changes they made to the electrics and how it's just like spreads out automatically. And then I was curious about how that would work with water and scorched. And Amarillo Trops is tamed. 
Right, let's get a saddle for it. We need fiber, wood, and hide. Ooh, do we have enough hide? We probably do, because we went out killing. Yes. Fiber, wood. Wood. They have changed it, have they? Okay. Ah, oh, it works in the same way as the electric now, doesn't it? Like, you just it just spreads out automatically, yeah. But that doesn't help, like... I can't irrigate places where there's no water, basically. Like, that's... yeah. I'm still restricted in the same sort of way as I was the first time I played, in that I need to build somewhere where there is water. Although it rains so fucking much on this map, I wonder why that's even a thing anymore. Okay, hopefully this guy's still got his baby near him, because then we can maybe test... Yeah, he's still got the babies. Right, let's test if Rini's theory was correct. We've got a 164 Morella Trops, and its children are tameable. Nope, they stay at 110. But we've got two of them. Yeah, which babies are just worse. Oh shit, dude's pretty speedy actually. What's his carry weight like? 600? Yeah, okay. What's his attack like? Let's see how his attack is. 90! What's his health? 2,500. This dude's good. And he gathers berries, like, potentially better than the parasaur. And he has a big stomp. I'm pretty good. How are you, man? Thank you for asking. I'm I'm into Morella Trops now. I'm not gonna lie. I fair enough. Everyone who told me I should tame a Morella Trops and whom I scoffed at, laughed at. I'm sorry. I was wrong. You were right. These things are pretty awesome, actually. The fact that they're a herbivore, I kind of like because you can just get them. You can just get berries whenever you need it as well. So Jorgen said something about them being really good at. Oh, I'm stood standing in a fire. That would be a terrible way to die. About them being really good at gathering cac from cactuses, didn't he? Let's go over to this cactus over here and let's see how they gather from the cactus then. Because this might really help us with building. So they gather... From two cactuses, we've got 80 sap. That's not huge amounts, is it, really? It'll do, but it's not, like, tons and tons and tons of cactus sap or anything. How do they refresh their water, then? Is it just... They just need to go into water, is it? Are you failing miserably to come over? Are you out of stamina? I know wild creatures can run out of stamina now. Is this thing out of stamina? And that's why it's just sort of very, very slowly piddling its way across the the water. Come on, dude. Come on, you can do it. Other traps might be eating the sap. No, he, he just didn't gather that much. I mean, he might eat it, but he also just didn't gather very much. He gathered a couple of hundred. It, it'll do. Like, we'll make it work. Wait, do, so they eat it, do they? That's kind of cool. I don't see the point in keeping these two babies. I think I'm just going to let them starve, actually. Right. So, let's repair our pick. Uh, can we make another one of them as well? Yeah, can make two picks, nice. And let's see how Morellatrops does on a little venture out into the world, wide, wide world. Because we need metal. That's like, that's the end goal of today is to reach the metal age. If we can reach that age, if we can get ourselves a smithy, potentially some metal tools.
That makes sense. That makes sense. I Yeah, there's plenty of people who are like that. Like, they enjoy watching something that's being played, but they also don't want to spoil it for themselves. That's understandable. Do we st are we still going on super heat? Is this still going on? Bloody hell. All right, so we've got one metal note here. Wow, so much metal. Yay, that one metal, that's going to be so useful. No, fine. Okay, that's good, that's good. No, that's fine, that's fine. I, I know some streamers are like, we must keep all discussions relevant to exactly what is going on on the screen, but I don't care. People can mention whatever they want, talk about whatever's interesting to them, that's fine. Holy crap, 200! Morellatrops just absolutely rolled that guy. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Morellatrops will do nicely for now. Is it me, or is my arc character's arms getting more and more yellow? Is it, it's the angle, but it looks like he's getting the worst sunburn. Just bright yellow banana sunburn. <laughs> Right, I don't know if we can actually go up to where the metal is, because... Well, because I'm worried that if we try... How do I get rid of the waypoint? Uh, waypoints. Ah! Like that. I'm worried that if we try and get up there with the superheat going on, we're just going to get screwed. Let's just slowly and carefully tickle our way up there and see what happens. Another raptor, which must die. Oh gosh, I hit like everything. Sorry, I didn't mean to. From the toxic green water. Yeah, it's the sun reflecting up. It's it's a weird place. This. Yep, we're just dying. It's the super heat. We, we can't cope up here. <clears throat> But we can shoot a bow off of Morella drops. You can shoot off the top back of the Morella drops, which with its 2,500 health is very nice and potentially a bit OP. The screen's blurry effects are kind of annoying as well. I don't like them. It's giving me a bit of a headache, actually. I apologize if it's having a similar effect on you. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll leave it there for today. Since we've gathered our first little bit of metal, I'm not going to be doing anything off camera. That's part of the reason why I wanted to stream Scorched. I know I'm doing the Islanders episodes, but I've been telling myself for like two years now, and Jorgen has been telling me, and Rini has been telling me, and my wife's been telling me that if I play a survival game, I should try and not do off camera stuff. And then I always, I always get it into my head that I have to be like super prepared for the stream and I have to get all the boring quote unquote boring stuff done so this time we're, we're just not going to play any off camera stuff which means sometimes we're going to have to go on resource runs sometimes we're going to do building sometimes we're going to go do breeding you know but this is an experiment where I just do everything on stream I uh, just wanted to get that out of the get that out in the air but for today I think we've made decent progress we've died five times we've got ourselves a pretty nice starting team. Um, we figured out how this uh, Bob's Tall Tales, what is it even called? Frontier Wood structures look. We've got ourselves a carnivore team as well. I think we're in a decent spot. I think this is as good as I could have hoped for, considering how absolutely wrecked I got the very first time I ever played Scotch Death. So. I'm going to leave it there for today. I'll see you on Saturday. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good rest of the week and good. Bye.